Hey, welcome back. In today's modern work environment, where more users work remotely from home, managing access to assets and resources on your Azure virtual network is essential. In this lesson, you will learn about how Azure network security groups can automatically allow or deny traffic to your cloud-based resources and assets. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Network security groups or NSGs let you allow or deny network traffic to and from Azure resources that exist in your Azure virtual network. For example, a virtual machine. When you create an NSG, it can be associated with multiple subnets or network interfaces in your VNet. An NSG consists of rules that define how the traffic is filtered. NSG security rules are evaluated by priority using five information points. Source, source port, destination, destination port, and protocol to either allow or deny the traffic. As a guideline, you shouldn't create two security rules with the same priority and direction. So this is a highly simplified example diagram. You can see an Azure virtual network with two subnets and that are connected to internet and each subnet has a virtual machine. Subnet 1 has a NSG assigned to it that's filtering inbound and outbound access to VM1 which needs a higher level of access. In contrast, VM2 could represent a public facing machine that doesn't require an NSG. So let me take you to the Azure portal to show you a sample NSG on how it looks. On my Azure portal, you can search for NSG in the top search bar. Select Network Security Groups. As you can see, I don't have a Network Security Group. I'm going to create one. I'm going to create a new resource group and give a name for the instance as well. And click on Review and Create. This wouldn't take any more than 30 seconds. I'm going to go to the resource. So that's how a sample NSG looks like. On the left hand side, under Settings, you can see inbound security rules and outbound security rules. As you can see, that you can't remove these default rules, but you can override them by creating new rules with higher priorities. So let me explain you what are these properties on these rules. First, we need to understand what is name. Every NSG rules need to have a unique name that describes its purpose. For example, admin access only filter. Second is priority. Priority is a number between 100 and 4096. Rules are processed in priority order, with lower number processed before the higher numbers. When traffic matches a rule, processing stops. This means that any other rules with a lower priority won't be processed. The next one we need to learn about is source or destination. This specifies either individual IP address or IP address range or service tag or application security group. Specifying a range, a service tag or application security groups enable you to create a fewer security rules. Next one is protocol. This indicates what network protocol will the rule check. The protocol can be any. The protocol can be of any TCP, UDP, ICMP or any. The next thing is direction, whether it is inbound or outbound traffic. And finally, we need to learn about action. Action decide what will happen when this rule is triggered. There are limits to the number of security rules you can create in an NSG. So use Azure NSGs to automatically allow or deny traffic to your cloud-based resources and assets. An Azure Virtual Network is similar to network you would find in your organization. It enables different Azure resources, for instance, an Azure Virtual Machine to securely communicate with other VNets, the internet, or your on-premises network. A VNet can be divided into multiple subnetworks, or it is known as subnets, and each with specific resources assigned to them. You can secure the resources within a subnet using network security groups. In the next lesson, you're gonna learn about Azure DDoS protection. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.